on ESPN featuring the Big East and ACC. Game one from Providence matches first-year head coach Rick Barnes and the surprising 13-1 Friars against Georgetown. The catalyst for PC, the backcourt tandem of Carlton Screen and Eric Murdoch. John Thompson and the Hoyas are 12 and 1, but Coach Thompson continues his protest against Proposal 42. One who will be there is freshman Swatter Alonzo Morning, who leads the nation in block shots and can score underneath as well. comes from the Duke Zoo at Cameron Indoor Stadium featuring the fierce rivalry between neighbors North Carolina and Duke. Dean Smith is hungry for revenge after losing all three games to Duke last season. J.R. Reed is back to his All-American form after sitting out with a foot injury. Duke remains on a roll, 13-0, number one in the nation. When you think teamwork, you begin with the Blue Devils. Concern, however, is Danny Ferry's back spasms may prevent him from being 100%. The ACC and Big East tonight on ESPN. Welcome to the 24th meeting between the Hoyas and the Friars. Georgetown comes in ranked number three. They're 12 and one overall, two and one in the Big East. There are the standings in the Big East. The importance of tonight's game is obvious then. If the Hoyas win, there's a tie atop the Big East standings. But these headlines across the nation's newspapers all week long. John Thompson, of course, boycotting the game on Saturday against Boston College and this game tonight, upset because of Proposition 42. Vocal support by John Cheney of Temple, Clem Haskins of Minnesota, and a whole lot of others. Hi again, everybody. I'm Jim Kelly. Bill Raftery is alongside. Let's go back to Saturday night. The Hoyas crushed Boston College without their coach, John Thompson. What did we learn, Bill? Are the Hoyas maybe on the brink of becoming a national power even without the coach? I think you learned John's a pretty good coach. A lot of preparation in practice. They know exactly what he would like. I think the real pressure is on the assistants now, Mike Riley and Craig Escherich, to do what John would do during the game and how they react at the end of the game. That's what they'll miss John the most. All right. Well, earlier this week, our Chris Fowler had a chance to sit down with the Hoya head coach, and John Thompson was asked if his team would suffer at all. Well, if it hurts the team on the court, it has to do that. There's some things that, that, that are worth some other things. I, I think that, you know, I have attended the practices. Uh, the only thing that I have not done is gone to the ball game. You know, we have looked at film together. I have prepared the team for the next opponent. And at that point, I feel very confident. Well, Bill, you were head coach at Seton Hall. You know a team reflects the personality of its coach. How much will the Hoyas miss John Thompson? Well, this cause is bigger than the game, and I'm sure the players feel the same way. So I think they'll support John by the way they play. I'm looking for a big game from the Hoyas. All right. Ironically, the Providence Friars have had a pressure-free week because of the absence of John Thompson. Ordinarily, all the talk would be, how do you prepare for Georgetown? But with the big guy gone, the question is, when is he coming back? And the Providence Friars have enjoyed a pressure-free week. Well, Rick Barnes can relax a little until a few minutes from now, and you got to think of the key, getting the ball inside. I think Marty Conlon or some other forward has to step up, so Marty has to fake and pump, and you're going to see Morning stand in there waiting. All right, how about for Georgetown? What are the keys to their winning? Uh, this is going to be one of the great ones. For folks who haven't seen him before, he can dominate a game. They're going to have a stat called hurries by the end of his career. I think offensively, they'll go to him. I think Providence has to go down and help out. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> a little bit. It's going to get louder. It's noisy. The crowd will be a factor. It's a sellout crowd here in Providence. Maybe the intangible they'll need if they're to upset the Hoyas here tonight. Right now, let's go back to the studio and our host, John Saunders. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim and Bill. It is the Georgetown Hoyas against Providence. The Hoyas ranked third in the nation. They're 12 and one, two and one in the Big East. Providence at 13 and one and three and one in the Big East off to one of their best starts ever. Coming up at halftime, we'll hear the rest of that interview from John Thompson in depth as he talks about proposal 42 and why he would like to see it taken off the books. We'll also hear from the athletic director at Oklahoma State University, Myron Roderick. They voted for Proposal 42, and they may have changed their mind.